out, brother. And these guys, I forget sometimes. <laughs> I'm in a fucking bright as red C8. People get hella close, you just wanna stare, but it's part of it. This is why I do this for the youngins, but. So today I woke up, today's been different. I, I read this quote the other day, it was talking about, if you want change, you have to change. That's fucking obvious, right? No shit, if you wanna fucking change, you gotta change. But some of us don't fucking realize that. And some of us don't even, or probably realize this, but still don't fucking do it for some reason. If you want a big change, you got to take a big change. People nowadays want something for fucking nothing, right? No one wants to sacrifice shit. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Everybody just wants the end result. Obviously, everybody just wants the fucking C8. Everybody wants the body of their dreams. <laughs> But they really don't want to give nothing for it. Everybody just asks, gimme, 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 gimme. They tell God, they pray. Think about it. When most people pray to God, they're over here praying like, give me. Can you please do this for me? Do this for me. When I pray, I never ask God for anything. Never have I prayed to God and be like, please save my dog who's dying. Or please help my mom make get money because we're not going to be able to fucking eat or some shit. Or please help me. I never ever asked for nothing. I always just said thank you. I said thank you, God. Appreciate you. What do I have to give to you? What more can I give to you? I will become your servant. Please, God, thank you. Ask, put, like, you ask to become a strong soldier, right? You ask God to give you strength. But then you fucking get all mad when God puts you in, through a tough battle. Bro, the reason you're going through the tough battle is to become a strong soldier. And right now I'm doing coaching, I'm doing mentorship, helping people do exactly what I've been doing, which is creating content, going viral, making money, and overall just become more disciplined, overall better human that I fucking respect and admire. That's ultimately what I'm coaching people on. People come to me trying to make $10,000 a month, right, from social media. And yeah, I can show you, bro, just post one minute long TikToks, sell a shirt sell a program if you're buff let's do an online fitness coaching super simple bro to make money but in reality people come to me and they already knew how to make money like they know in order to fucking get sales you need to make content and you need to sell something you need to make videos people already know this shit the thing is they come in and what they really need is mindset a hundred percent of the time people know and just need to be reminded but the difference is between the people that fucking actually succeed is really just that mindset bro will they wake up in the morning early like i said this entire time i've been bro i scaled my business to fucking fifty thousand now we're at the end of the month it's I was doing good. I was doing 3K days, 6K days. Then I got, I self sabotaged in my brain. I got too comfortable and we only got to like 50,000 this month. Only, right? <laughs> it sounds funny when you say it like that, but that's how I feel in my head. Cause, bro, I was doing, in my head, I'm like, bro, I bet we gonna hit $30,000 in a day. But that's the thing, you self sabotage because you only go. You don't ever reach your highest potential, bro. You don't ever reach your dreams and aspirations. You always just go down to your standards. And my standard is that, right? So in order, in order for me to get to the next fucking level, I gotta what? Lock in even more. Not with making more content or like little tactical strategy shit like that. Bro, it's literally this disciplines and fucking habits bro what are you doing day to day what are you doing every fucking minute <laughs> me just adding this little yapper video now i'm gonna start uploading more on youtube that's another discipline i'm making me fucking going ahead and waking up at 5 a.m going doing cardio first thing in the morning without eating without bro i didn't even take caffeine i'm a caffeine addict i usually take fucking red bull in the morning bang celsius coffee i haven't done that and that's just for me to, the only reason I did that 
was for me to go put myself in an uncomfortable situation. Like I said, if you want change, you got to change. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to be given to you. And bro, if my dad, my dad wakes up at fucking 550 every morning. He's been doing that shit for the last, since I don't fucking know when, bro. Since I was a little kid. Bro has not missed a day of fucking work, bro, in the last 20 plus years. And he, he has to. Because if not, who the fuck is going to put bread on the table? Who's going to go ahead and pay for the house? I know I wasn't. I know my mom wasn't. I know my brother wasn't. So he had discipline, no matter how the fuck he felt. Yeah, my dad tries to be a strong guy and be like, nah, bro, I love going to work. Yippity. Which, okay, he probably does. My dad's the type to like what he does, okay? But come on, bro. You're telling me he didn't have one bad day where he didn't want to wake up? One day where he was like, ah, fuck, bro. I got to go over here again. Come on, bro. My dad one time came back home. He's a tree climber. He's a foreman. He cuts trees like the ones for the power lines. Bro came back and said he chopped off. Bro, literally, <laughs> he works with chainsaws, cutting trees, bro. Bro came back with sliced arm. Ah! He's almost sliced his fucking arm off all the way. <laughs> and <laughs> when he came back, he was like, yeah, it's all good, though. So I'm going to heal up in the next month. I'll be back. <laughs> so, ah, it's nothing. Ah. I'm like, this motherfucker's a real motherfucker. Shout out to my dad, bro. He doesn't but fucking probably even realize this, bro. The reason I go in is because of him. Like, he never really... No, he did. He was... <laughs> oh, my bad. I forgot. My dad used to beat the shit out of me. And, and he used to just discipline me all the time. Be yelling at me. All types of shit. But that's because that's the way he did it. And obviously, it worked because... Bro, he would just tell me to go to school. Like, he would just tell me, bro, lock in. Like, figure something out. It's all good if you don't want to work. Just figure something out, bro. Figure something out. Figure something out. You have time, bro. Go to school. Get an education. Go work in a nice little office with the AC so you don't have to be like me outside all day. And I appreciate that from him. And he also taught me how to fucking be a man. How to have hard work and discipline. I... He taught me more just from him, his actions than from him telling me to do shit. Every time my dad would tell me something, I would be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I know. I know. I know. But now I'm saying, you're right. You're right, dad. You're right. Exactly, bro. You're right, dad. And he was right this entire time. Now that I'm a grown ass man, I realize it because I'm only in this position because of the position he put me in. He put me in a position to win, bro. And maybe, maybe you don't have that, but if you have a mom or a dad around, bro, you do have that. Stop being a complainer. Stop, bro. They're humans just like you. If imagine this, you're you're a grown person already, right? You're more than 15 years old, I assume. You can think for yourself. If you have free will, you can do anything. If you know how hard it is for you to stop stroking your shit, stop doing drugs, stop fucking bitches, stop. Not, you know how hard it is for you to change, bro. Imagine how hard it is for somebody who already has lived life. Who they already got beaten down hella. They've already took hella losses. How hard does it become for them, bro? It is true. For an old dog, it's harder to learn a new trick. But then you always have the opportunity to put yourself in a position to win because you have free will. So stop fucking complaining all the time. Be more grateful of your situation. If you have life... That's all you need. I know people in better situations than me who didn't do nothing. And they're still not doing nothing with their life, bro. They were in a better position like years ago, right? Maybe their parents had more money. Maybe their dad and mom were there always for them. And all types of shit. But how come they're still in a fucked up position or even in a worse position? Because it's not a... It's not because of no exterior force bro it's just because of you so you have to take responsibility and realize that you're in life wherever you are in life bro if you're broke if you have no car if you have no money if you don't even have a thousand dollars to your name not even five hundred dollars to your name bro you have to lock in and fix something and you can be delusional and think no bro everything's good but in reality bro you know every time you wake up you're like fuck not this again 
but this is also the truth. You say you want change, but if you really did, you would. So that means you're comfortable. And like I said, bro, I'm comfortable. I go through periods of my time, bro, I was going in, I was about to be at a hundred thou this month, right? But I got comfortable, I self-sabotaged. I became my lowest standard. So I need to change, I need to change because I want to get to the next level. And it's not just about the materialistic shit. It's not just about the chains, the fucking earrings, the jewelry, the cars, the all this shit. Bro, it's not a fucking about that shit. It's about winning makes you feel good. Progressing in life makes you feel good. Leveling up gives you a purpose, bro. If you wake up and you think everything's cool, life is not always supposed to feel good, bro. In a video game, you're supposed to level up. You're not just going to kick it at level seven all day. Or all year or for the rest of your life. If you watch a movie, bro, if you watch the fucking movie and the character literally does nothing besides a stupid ass routine for the next 40 years, but he's complaining, he gets worse, fatter, uglier, all types of fucked up shit, you'll be like, bro, this movie is whack. <laughs> this is fucking gay as fuck. This is stupid. This is retarded, whatever you want to call it. Because you watch movies for excitement, for entertainment, for a zero to hero story. You don't watch it to watch no fucking Joe Schmo just wanking and shit on it. <laughs> to pictures on a fucking screen. You don't fucking watch it just to see this fat fuck eat hella goddamn cheeseburgers and chips and Mountain Dew. You'll be like, that's fucking disgusting, bro. You don't. So in your life, why do you keep doing this shit? Why do you keep living the same bullshit? Why don't you change? I'm tell I'm gonna tell you why. Cause it's easy not to. It's a lot easier not to do nothing, bro. Don't you think right now, bro, I woke up at 5 a.m. My circadian rhythm's all fucked up. I have been not used to bro, I usually sleep at 2 a.m. Sometimes fucking 4 a.m. and wake up like at hella late. And I've been able to scale my businesses to multiple six figures. But I want to take it to the next level. I've been stuck here for a long time. And now I got to go. So I got to change. Right? If I'm waking up this early, if I'm doing this much, if I, I'm i doing more than you and you're fucking not, like, how does that make sense? I want it more than you. And I already have everything you want. Do you see why you're a fucking loser sometimes? Because the people that don't want shit just talk. Yeah, I want a Lambo. I want a mansion. I want to make 10K a month. Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut your bitch ass up. Like, actually, bro, you're a grown ass man. You ain't got 10 bands in your account. You don't even got a license. Bro, you don't even take care of your family. You don't even take care of yourself. Shut your bitch ass up, bro. You don't deserve nothing. Like, literally, you don't. And that's the harsh reality, bro. And once you realize that, that's when you're going to make a change. How long have you been telling your girl that you're going to get rich? How long have you been telling your mom that I'm going to retire you? How long have you been lying to yourself saying that you will do the things that you need to do? How long have you been lying to yourself? Delusion is okay, bro. I'm delusional. But there's a difference between being a fucking dumbass and being a delusional who takes action every single day. And you get to choose which one you want to be, bro. Lock in. Lock in, bro. Every day's Monday. If you don't do this, time is just going to keep going. I'm 27 years old, bro. I wanted to be a millionaire by the time I was 21. And I didn't become a millionaire. Bro, it's been fucking 10 years. I've been, I graduated high school at 17. Now it's 10 years and they went by like this. Come on, bro. If I'm feeling like this, you got to feel like this. And if you're, bro, and this, there's two sides of the coin to this because yeah, I'm 27 and I feel like this and that, but that's the only reason in the macro, no, in the micro level, I know I need to go faster. I need to go, 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 go micro day to day. But in the macro, I know I'm 27 and I have a whole life ahead of me. I can fuck up for 10 more years, bro. Be 37 and I still have time, bro. And so do you. But. You have to start today because there's no such thing as tomorrow. There's no such thing, bro. It's only such thing as today. 
So lock in, bro. I believe in you. If nobody believes in you, I believe in you, bro. But you have to believe in yourself. The only reason I believe in you is because I'm staring at myself. I'm just talking to myself, bro. These videos are really just for me. These videos are just for me, bro. I'm not talking. I'm here in the fucking parking lot talking to myself to a fucking brick. So when I see potential in you, it's because I see potential in myself. Anybody who you hear say negative shit to you, projecting, bro, they're just saying that because that's what they think of themselves, bro. Trust me. I know that because I've done that too. I project negativity. Not right now. I used to. But you know, bro. You know what you got to do. Every day is Monday. It's time to lock in, bro. It really is. Be better.